Hey, I'm Randy and you're watching The Cheap Audio Man. Here at The Cheap Audio Man, we help everyone find high value, hi-fi home theater and headphone equipment. And today we're talking about the very popular Philips SHP 9500. Doesn't even say so on the box. I'm looking at this box and I cannot find the model number anywhere. Wow. Well, anyway, trust me, it's the ship, 9500. It's a cheap one, $75. So is this going to be as good as, or can it even compete with a $500 pair of Hi-Fi Edition XS? I don't know. By the way, today's sponsor is Squarespace. So sit down, grab a cup of coffee, and let's compare a $75 headphone to a $500 headphone. So Philips isn't just known for electric toothbrushes. But also, they have a couple very well-regarded headphones. Hey, brah, what you doing? Oh, good gravy, who are you? Uh, so I'm the Squarespace dude. Squarespace dude. Yeah, bro. Squarespace dude. So you broke into my house, too. Yeah, I came through the basement, basement window. I don't have a basement. Yeah, you do. No, I don't. This house is built on a slab. Well, I came through the basement, brah. Just get it over with. Get what over with, man? Your ad. The dumb ad. Oh, yeah. So, Squarespace is cool. That's it. Yeah. I mean, it's, you know, super easy and stuff. You're horrible at this. Does Squarespace know how bad you are at doing your job? So my mom's brother's nephew is the owner. Uh, uh I get it. Yeah, yeah. You don't want to talk about how easy it is to set up a website, how I did it in three hours? No. You don't want to talk about dragging and dropping pictures, putting them wherever you want? No. The dozens of templates already made? Nah. How about being able to integrate e-commerce, sell your stuff online? Mm -mm. Using it as a portfolio, if you're a photographer or videographer, 14 day free trial. Nope. Getting domains 10% off if you use the code Cheap Audio Man. You don't want to talk about any of that? Nope. You should be fired. Yeah, whatever. I've never actually owned these. I had their more expensive older brother, the uh, X2s. But now the X2s have been replaced by, I don't know, some other X2 or something like that. But these are the SHIP 9500. One of the most well-regarded cheap open back headphones out there. And they look nice on your head too. Okay, build quality. You know, for a $75 headphone, there is nothing to complain about. I've had a lot of other headphones in here that are more expensive that aren't built as well. Metal here on the side, plastic, rotatey, rotatey, plastic here, plastic here, plastic on top, but it feels like a solid plastic. Here's the cool thing. The cushion goes right underneath the headband and it's it's got a little bit of give, so it kind of floats. The band isn't sitting directly, I mean, it's going to hit your head, of course, but there's a little bit of give. Very clever, the way they did this. And, it's $75. And you know, you know which way to put it on, because there's an R here for left, and an L here for right. Just like that. Single 3.5 millimeter connection right here. So if you want to upgrade the cable, get a different cable, you certainly can. Ear pads, pretty shallow. I don't know if these can come off. I am sure that if these can come off, everybody's talked about it. I don't want to break, these aren't mine. I don't want to break them. These are John S's, father of Roctopus. But they movie, movie. These really are quite comfortable. Yeah, nice. Comes with a rubberized cord, long cord, long. Okay, here, let's do this. All right, three foot, three foot, three foot. All right, we got a 10 foot cable here. Wow, but if you don't want a longer cable, you can do this and then get a twisty tie or a Velcro thing right there. Or 
you can probably go to just about anywhere and get a 3.5 millimeter or 3.5 millimeter cable. Very good cable. You know what's really, really, really depressing is when you look at something like this and you see how well it's built for $75 and how good the cable is for $75. And then you start to look at five, three, four, $200 headphones that aren't built as well as this and don't have cables as nice as this. So good job, Phillips. I am sure that they manufacture thousands of these because these are very popular. Okay, uninvited. Alanis Morissette. Not the MTV Unplugged version, the regular studio version or recorded. Listen to it on the Edition XS and then I listen to it on the Philips ship 9500. The first thing that kind of jumped out at me is the Edition XS were almost a bit more sibilant than the Philips. Now, as far as wading through the music, like Alanis's voice, the band, sounded similar between the two from a surface standpoint. However, I think the Philips are a little bit boosted wherever the cymbal crashes. So it seemed more boosted, briefer, more realistic, hung out in the air, and there was open air space. So much more air, much larger sense and scale to the music on the Edition XS. The Philips also seemed to be a little bit thumpier in the bass, so I really think this is a U-shaped type of a headphone. Edition XS makes sense, driver's a lot bigger, more open. Uh, even when I put these on and I talk, my voice gets a little bit deeper on these. When I talk, it's basically, I, I can't even hear a difference from when I do this to when I do this. Edition XS, much more open. That's Africa, uh, the Weezer cover. So one of the first things I noticed about, and this has nothing to do with bass. I mean, I was listening for bass, but it was vocals. So when his vocals came in, more covered up, more veiled than the Hyphaman Edition XS. And I would hope so. The clarity seems to be, or the perceived clarity seems to be shifted up in the treble region and not really as apparent in the mid-range. It wasn't like completely covered up, but in direct comparison to the Hyphaman Edition XS, a little bit more veiled. But it's okay, I mean, we're talking $75. Just wanted to mention that. The bass on this too is, I think, bumped around 80, but it doesn't extend quite as far as the Edition XS. Let's listen to some more. Yeah, Highway to Hell, super bumped with the bass drum. Okay, let's see what the Edition XS sound like. The Edition XS, a lot more neutral in the bass, but there's still a lot of bass and a lot of bass extension. These are harder to drive, so I had to crank the volume up, uh, not a lot more, but more than the Philips, which is good because that means you can uh, run these off a dongle deck or something like that. Ear cups, a lot shallower than the Edition XS, and normally it really, 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 really bothers me when I have headphones and my ear touches the actual driver but for whatever reason the way that these are designed it doesn't it doesn't push on one part it just kind of hugs this is almost like an on ear that just goes over your ear but for some reason it doesn't bother me at all which is good because normally if my ear touches any part of the driver it bugs me but i think since it kind of touches more of my ear it's not as big of a it's not as annoying. All right, hey Jude. So now I really know these are recessed in the uh, mid-range because really forward song. The vocals come very forward and they seem very in line. Again, a bit veiled. So this is not going to be the utmost revealing mid-range headphone. You probably know that if you've watched any of the other reviews. Edition XS, yeah, way more forward than this ship. All right, little wherever I may roam. I'm listening to both of these through the uh, Topping DX3 Pro Plus. 
$200 DAC amp. So not very expensive. Bow. So the bass pluck, it's one pluck. Way more clear, hanging out a lot longer on the Edition XS. And it was startling because I've heard wherever I may roam a lot, but it was one of those things when something stands out, I kind of sit up and take notice. And that bass pluck, I took notice. When I put these on and I played the song, yes, it's the song I know. Uh, yes, it sounded good. That bass pluck wasn't even apparent. So obviously not nearly as much overall clarity in all areas of the frequency response on the Phillips. When the snare came in though, when the thwack of the snare drum it was much more pronounced on the Phillips. So the Edition XS are much more neutral-ish headphone. These sound really good though. Sound very, very good. It makes sense here. We have a planar magnetic, a $500 planar magnetic. We have a $75 dynamic driver. It would be shocking if these outperform the Hyphen. And the Hyphen Edition XS are no slouch. My favorite headphone. The surprising and remarkable thing is these are still far off, way far off. But as far as the overall sound signature, there is nothing. And I've heard a lot of headphones that are twice as expensive. <clears throat> not going to mention any names that don't have as an enjoyable as a frequency response and kind of fun. I'm not a, for me personally, I'm not a huge fan of dynamic driver for headphones. Although I do like some of the Sennheiser 6XX. Uh, I think it's the five something. It's up there somewhere. But personally for me, I like planar magnetic headphones. The problem with planar magnetic headphones Sometimes they're hard to drive. Sometimes they're quite expensive. I shockingly would probably use these more than the Hi-Fi-Men HE400 SE. Not because I think these sound a lot better, but because they're way easier to drive and I would use them more. The HE400 SE that come in around $150, but you really need an amplifier, which is gonna add another $100 probably at least, and that's if you have a DAC. Otherwise, it's another $200 to really get the best out of them. For these, an $8 uh, Lightning to 3.5 millimeter adapter from Apple is gonna take care of it just fine. So, um, highest recommendation. Highest recommendation, yay! You're gonna have to understand though that you're not getting clarity like you're getting from Edition XS or from something like the Sundara. These are fun though. They're very U-shaped. If you're looking for a linear flat line frequency response, this is not the headphone for you. The mid-range, little bit veiled, recessed, but it doesn't really bother me. I think for someone just getting into the hobby, I think these are great. I think the step up over these is gonna be the HE400 SE, but you're gonna have to budget for an amplifier and an external DAC for those. Are the Edition XS twice as good? Yes. Three times as good? Yes. Four times as good? Probably no. That's not too bad, right? 400 would be $300. Sundaras? Sundaras have a different sound. So, thrilled with these. I don't know about the ear. I'm sure that you can do something with the ear pads. I don't mind these at all. Really fantastic headphone for, um, for 75 bucks. Also, the uh, soundstage, not remotely wide at all compared to the Edition XS. So the soundstage on these really sounds to me like a closed back headphone. Nothing remarkable about the soundstage to me. They sound great, they're fun, they're built well for their price. And obviously these things are well regarded amongst headphone aficionados. So if you wanna support the channel, you can sign up for Patreon, patreon.com slash cheap audio man. Every Sunday night we have Patreon only Zoom, Patreon only Discord, Patreon only Facebook group. I also do giveaways for certain tiers in my Patreon. You can also use the affiliate link in the description for these, okay? If you buy, I will get a commission. 75 bucks though. Hmm? You can also sign up for Amazon Music or Tidal Music. Links in the description. If you click and you sign up, I get a couple of bucks. Even if it's only for a trial, you can also use the thanks button down at the bottom of the video next to the share is a thanks button. 
You can give a dollar or two if you don't want to support me on Patreon. If you don't want to use the affiliate links, but you found value in the video, you can use that. Don't feel compelled, though. You don't need to give me any money. But if you want to give me money, I'll take your money. And then you can uh, buy merchandise. I don't have one sitting around. I have mugs and t-shirts and stuff. So don't binge watch anything on Netflix or Hulu. Binge it. Listen. And if you're new to headphones, throw your Philips. Ship 9500s and fill your soul with happiness. Even though it's not written on the headphones, I don't think anywhere, or on the box. Okay? But trust me, I'll link it in the description. Fill your soul with happiness. For that, I'm Randy. I'm this cheap audio man.